Hi everybody, Steve here at Eden Memorial Cemetery or Memorial Park here in Mission Hills and I just found the final resting place of actor Howard Kane. It took me a little bit of time to find Howard Kane's gravesite because I only had one picture to go by that was on his Find a Grave Memorial page and it was pretty helpful but it, the photo wasn't really taken from his grave which I thought it was. It was taken a little bit away so I had to walk around a little bit to find it but I finally did and I added a GPS to make it easier if you happen to come here to visit in person. Over the last few years quite a few of you have left comments suggesting that I visit the final resting places of cast members from Hogan's Heroes. So I'm finally making that trip today. And at the end of this video I'll be giving a shout out to all of you who suggested it. And for those of you who might not be familiar with the series, it ran for six seasons from 1965 to 1971. It was a very popular sitcom and ironically it was set in Germany in a POW camp during World War II. To find Howard Kane's gravesite you drive straight ahead to the top of the hill so if you come up to this uh, second tier here up on the hillside, you'll see Mount Olive's Eternal Gardens. And if you take, and this is E and F, and if you take this sidewalk here, straight ahead, and you just go all the way down there to the first large tree, and then look to your right, you should be at Howard Kane's gravesite. On the show, Kane played Gestapo Major Wolfgang Hochstetter. And again, it's one of those funny ironies of life that you so often see when visiting cemeteries. Kane was a Jewish actor buried here in a Jewish cemetery who's best remembered for playing a German Nazi. The fact is, many of the actors were Jewish, and Robert Clary even spent three years in a German concentration camp during the war. The irony was definitely not lost on the cast, and they talked about it often in interviews. Making fun of the Nazis on a very popular TV show was probably very cathartic for them, and maybe even a tiny bit of sweet revenge. Kane died from a heart attack not far from here in North Hollywood on December 28, 1993, at the age of 67. According to his Find a Grave memorial page, fellow actor John Cedar was also laid to rest here. But when I couldn't find his gravesite here, I asked at the office, but after thoroughly checking, they said that his memorial service was held here, but he was not buried here. So it appears that his Find a Grave memorial page is incorrect. Cedar played Corporal Langenscheid on the show. That's kind of a tongue twister, isn't it? And he died from leukemia in Tarzana, California on April 14th, 2011, at the age of 80. So sadly, at this point, his final resting place is unknown. Also unfortunate, at least for American fans, is that two of the actors on the show are buried in Austria. Actor John Banner, who played Sergeant Schultz, and whose famous catchphrase was, I see nothing, I know nothing. Of course, he said it with a lot more flair and humor. Died from an abdominal hemorrhage in Vienna, Austria, on January 28, 1973, at the age of 63. He also happens to be one of the famous people in the world who died in the same month and day as he was born, January 28th, and he was buried in Mauer, Austria. Actor Leon Askin, who played General Burkhalter, died in Vienna, Austria from natural causes at the age of 97 on June 3rd, 2005. He's also buried in Vienna, Austria. A number of the central cast members were cremated and their ashes were either scattered or their whereabouts are unknown. Actress Cynthia Lynn, who played Fraulein Helga, died from multiple organ failure in Los Angeles on March 10, 2014, at the age of 76. The location of her cremated remains are unknown at this time. Werner Klemperer, who played Colonel Klink and won two Emmy Awards for his role, died from cancer in Manhattan, New York, on December 6, in the year 2000, at the age of 80. His cremated remains were scattered. Ivan Dixon, who played Staff Sergeant Kinchlow, or Kinch, died from kidney failure in Charlotte, North Carolina, on March 16, 2008, at the age of 76. And the location of his cremated remains are also unknown at this time. Larry Hovis played Tech Sergeant Andrew Carter, and he died from esophageal cancer in Austin, Texas, on September 9, 2003, at the age of 67. His cremated remains were reportedly scattered. Before I head to the next cemetery, I'm happy to say that two of the central cast members are still alive. 
Kenneth Washington, who played Sergeant Richard Baker, is now 74 years old. And Robert Clary, who played Corporal Louis Lebeau, is now 94 years old. My next stop is Westwood Village Memorial Park, which is 17 and a half miles south of Eden Memorial Park, taking the 405 freeway. Three additional cast members are laid to rest here, all very close to each other. And they're all buried in the central lawn section. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, then you know I've been to the cemetery many times before. And you know it's one of the smallest cemeteries here in Los Angeles, but it also has more famous people buried here than almost any other cemetery in the world. It takes all of about 30 seconds to walk from one end of the cemetery to the other, and almost right in the center are the three grave sites that I'm here to visit. Actor Richard Dawson played Corporal Peter Newkirk on the show. Like fellow actor Larry Hovis, he also died from esophageal cancer. Dawson died in Los Angeles at the age of 79 on June 2, 2012. The star of the show, Bob Crane, is also buried here. His gravesite is just a few yards to the right of Dawson's gravesite. But I'll finish panning around here first so you can see more of Dawson's gravesite before I move on to Bob Crane's site. I always think it's neat when friends are buried close together in the same cemetery. And I especially see that a lot in this cemetery. Bob Crane starred as U.S. Army Air Corps Forces Colonel Robert E. Hogan, the leader of a special operations group of POWs, working to undermine the Germans from within the POW camp. Sadly, at the young age of 49, he became a homicide victim in a Scottsdale, Arizona apartment on June 29, 1978. His shocking death made international headline news and officially remains unsolved to this day. Buried here with Crane is his wife, Sigrid Valdis. Sigrid played Hilda on the show, and in 1970, the two were married on the set of Hogan's Heroes, and Richard Dawson was Crane's best man. They were married from 1970 until Crane's death in 1978. At the very top of their headstone, it reads, Hogan and Hilda, together forever. And below that, on the right-hand side, it reads, Sigrid Valdis, a.k.a. Hogan's Hilda, Mrs. Bob Crane, ni Patricia Annette Olson. Sigrid Valdis was her stage name. She died from lung cancer in Anaheim, California, on October 14, 2007, at the age of 72. During his long run, dozens of other actors appeared in supporting roles, but today I'm just visiting the final resting places of the primary cast members. And this week I'd like to thank my newest Patreon supporter, Trish Ross. I'd also like to thank Christina Maxwell for recently increasing her pledge. Thank you so much, Trish and Christina, for your generous support of my channel. And as I promised earlier, I want to give a shout out and a big thank you to all of you subscribers who suggested that I make this trip. Thank you, Crazy Anime Fan One, Daniel Guy, Angela N, Mike, Rudy Guzman, William May, Ida or Maxaroni Noodles, Jim Cornell, Philip Laflamme, Andy Springs, Katina Clater, Danny Brannigan, Judy Graham, Manuel Morales, Stephen Porcher, Kevin Wise, Anonymous Anonymous, Ronald Hill, Trevor Dawson, Afterburner, Sonia Wester. Ernestine Malloy, Barbara Sampier, Richard Radio, DC Funbud, Mr. Headbanger 366, Lava 1964, and Kurt Kiefer. So I hope you'll join me on another trip down memory lane by clicking and watching the video here.